guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel whatever the case may be so today i am doing a mini makeup haul i'm showing you everything that i purchased when i was away for my weekend so if you guys want to see what i did purchase then keep on watching okay guys so i stopped off at primark and i picked up this little palette here the eye candy eyeshadow palette now first things first is i did notice after i purchased it there was some scrapes on the packaging and inside there's a few dents but nothing that would stop me from buying one again or using it as you can see the colors are really, really pretty you've got you, everything you would need you've got your ivories light pinks lilacs and you've got a mixture of mattes and shimmers which is nice you could do everything from a neutral look right up until like your really really glam looks now i'm not going to swatch all of these colors i'm just going to pick a few for you to today because it would just make this video really long so let's go for that nice deep purple and we'll go for that shimmery pink and i'm going to show you the apricot color as well so these are the colors here so as you can see really really pretty colors really nice colors and i think this palette suits well because we are coming into autumn and we're getting into the colder months now so this palette is quite nice so as you can see they are pigmented and they feel really really creamy and i have to say they blend out a treat they really work well on the eye so this is something you guys should maybe try out and see what you think for yourselves this was five pounds so for five pounds it's not all that bad now i picked up again from primark three lip crayons i have to say no more because you guys know how much i absolutely love these so i picked one up in mushroom and ballerina and this one is in fuchsia now this one's still in its packaging i haven't had it on and i'm actually today wearing mushrooms so mushroom is like a more of a nudie but with a gray undertone and ballerina is again a nude but with more of a pink undertone i'll just show you this one here since it's so this is what ballerina looks like so as you can see it does have like a pinky undertone going on there but yep absolutely love these guys and the last thing from primark i did purchase was another one of these i already have one but i just wanted to pick another one up so that i wasn't going to run out this mascara for two pounds fifty is an absolute steal this mascara is amazing you guys need to pick it up and try it i absolutely love it it just gives my lashes length and volume and for two pounds fifty hey ho now the next thing I re-picked up again is my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation and it's in the shade Porcelain. I had to pick another one of these up because I have nearly finished my other one and I absolutely adore this foundation. It just makes my skin look, like the foundation said, flawless and it just applies to the skin really, really well. It goes into the skin, it doesn't sit on top and sink into pores and fine lines. It just is a really, really nice foundation. Now... I also purchased a few of these. So this is the NYX Vivid Brights and Vivid Sapphire. And I also picked up this little one here. So this is Maybelline Master Ink. Every girl needs some gel liner and why not have some nice colors to choose from? This blue right here is absolutely amazing, guys. I did a look it's on my Instagram, mommy underscore makeup. This colour went really, really nice. I did a look with the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe and it just suited that look so well. Check it out, guys. See what you think. It's just an amazing little liner. I'm going to be picking up more of these colours to do different looks with. I thought this was handy, for instance, if I want to just go over the crease if I'm doing a cut crease or if I want to just lengthen up my corner there. We kind of need a few of these. Now, moving on to a mascara I've been dying to get my hands on, and this is the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic. Now, I'm wearing this today, and I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but the length it gives you is unreal. The volume it gives you is unreal, and I haven't really gotten any clumping with this either, so that is a bonus. So when you open this up, this is the kind of wand you're getting. So it kind of has like a little dent in the middle, 
it's just an amazing mascara again it's one of these mascaras you need to try for yourself this is 9.99 out of superdrug and boots have it as well i think most places have this now um but it is amazing and you guys need to give it a whirl and see what you think now we're going on to a brand that i wanted to try for the longest time i had so much about it and i thought i really want to go in and give it a go and i'm talking about kiko milano um they have a store up in aberdeen and i have to say i was in there twice <laughs> so let's talk first what i got so First things first, I got this, which is the face makeup fixer. So basically just a setting, a setting spray. Um, but what I like about it is it is more of an aerosol. So it's a proper spray and it's so easy like that. It's just a matter of spraying it on your face and you're done. And it smells really, really nice as well. It's not one of these really strong, potent, after smells it's just a really really good product i absolutely love this so that was the first thing i did pick up and i think i'm going to be repurchasing it again just to make sure that i've got enough to do me the next thing is a foundation so this is a skin tone foundation from kiko milano and it's got spf 15 in there as well sorry i'm leaning to the side but i've got a lot of back problems and it's comfier to sit slanted so I do apologize if it's looking a bit awkward for you guys um so this is what it looks like when you get in there and it is a pump so that's also quite good and I got this in warm beige beige warm beige 05 so I haven't yet tried this what I want to do is keep it and do a first impression foundation with this so I haven't touched it as of yet um but yeah, so that was my second product we picked up. Then I got this mascara here as well. So this is Unmeasurable Length Mascara from Kiko Milano. And it's got quite a, not a strange wand, but it's got, as you can see, two or three little bits. And they're all spaced out throughout the wand. And I have to say, I've only used it once since buying it. And I did like the product. I'm obviously going to have to use it more just to see how it works. But for the first attempt, I did like how my lashes looked. And like I've said in previous videos, my lashes are not the best for getting length with any mascara. But I have to say, the Primark mascara I absolutely adore. And I'm also liking the L'Oreal. I've tried that as well. And like that, I've got that one today. And again, it looks amazing. And this one, like I said, I've used it once. I'm liking the look of so then obviously I picked up a lip scrub. Every girl should have one of this, one of these in their makeup bag, whether it be from Kiko or any other brand, because I think it's just ideal, especially before applying your lipstick. You don't want, if you do have like some loose skin or anything, you don't want it just sitting there because the lipstick, lip crayon, whatever, is going to pick that up and it's not going to look flattering. So the lip scrub basically just exfoliates your lips, gets rid of any of the dead skin on top and just gives your lips a nice smooth finish. And I am a sucker for a lip crayon, so I did just pick one of these up just to try it. Um, and this is the shade I got here. And this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to pop that next to primer ones as you can see this is one this one here so it's more of a gloss crayon rather than a matte finish um but i just really like the color because i thought it would just go nice for an everyday look you know just keeping it on the low key and i also again picked up two of their creamy lipsticks now i absolutely love these they're chrome finish as you can see and you've got this little bit on the top so you just press the button and it releases the lipstick. It doesn't fall out. You then have to pull it. And this is what you get here. And obviously you just wind it up and that's your lipstick. Fabby. I've used both of these. So this is 101. So again, more of a real nude colour here. Let me just swatch that for you. So that's that one there. So as you can see, it does have a pink undertone to it, this one. But it's just really, really nice. It just gives you a really natural finish. And then this one here, same scenario. Pull it out. 
and this is more of like a purpley pink so I'm just going to do that there so as you can see now on the hand these look quite patchy I don't know if you can see that but on the lip they don't look like that they're absolutely beautiful on the lip and they actually have a really really pretty smell I've worn both I've probably worn the nude one slightly more than this one I tend to keep this one if I'm doing more of a glammed up look but the nudie one is just it's just so pretty and they're really very very creamy on the lip very nourishing on the lip just a really nice lipstick I absolutely love them so I feel very very soon I'm going to be purchasing another couple of lipsticks now the last thing I have for you today, which I'm really quite excited about actually, and again I'm probably the last to the show as always, but I picked this up right here. So this is the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I got it in the shade Light Cool 44. I have been again wanting to try this for the longest time. Um and when we were up in Aberdeen, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna wait to get it just to see. And unfortunately, they didn't stock it. Um, they only do it online at the minute because Scotland only have, from what the girl told me here in my hometown, um, that only three places in Scotland have Kat Von D counters. So I had to come back home and buy it here at home. So this is what it looks like here. You've probably all seen this already, but I just absolutely love the packaging. And I love that it's got the little stopper here. I just cannot wait to try this. But again, I want to do a first impressions video, so I'm kind of saving it for that. But yeah, I cannot wait to get trying this one on. I Honestly, I've been waiting ages to get this. I even like Kat's box. I just love her designs that she's got. And I have to say and give credit where credit is due, Kat's counters like in Debenhams are absolutely stunning absolutely beautiful the the tables and the dressers and everything that the products are stocked on are just absolutely beautiful she puts a lot of work in here you could tell by the packaging and the products and her counters that she puts a lot of thought into her products a lot of thought into her her counters where she's selling her products and like I said I have two eyeshadow palettes from Kat and I've got some of her everlasting um liquid lipsticks and I love everything so far and one of the good things about this as well is it's vegan so there's absolutely nothing animal related in these products so that also is a bonus so guys that's everything I have purchased so far we are going away on another trip tomorrow so no doubt Michelle will be going and buying more makeup because <sighs> no woman ever said I have enough makeup no so guys if you've liked this video you've liked the products I've shown you then give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please do now before you check on out um so yeah some of these products I will be doing separate videos first so you can see them in more detail but until then guys you take care I love you lots and we'll see you in the next video bye